we've been looking for a quick way to gain some extra affiliates as well as some extra gear in Final Fantasy XIV. Let me tell you today all about hunting logs, how to do them, what are your rewards, as well as what is the requirement to get you a whole bunch of free gear and affiliates. But before we jump into all of that, I do want to give a very special thank you to everybody that is subscribing over on a Patreon. Hitting that wonderful join button here on YouTube and coming over to twitch.tv slash Troy Macon and subscribing over there where we stream every single night starting around 7 p.m. Central. Thank you, thank you, my dudes. And with that, let's go ahead, let's jump into this and let me show you how to hunt like a professional. So to start off here, let's go ahead and talk about how to actually find your hunting log if you are playing it on controller, might it be Epoch PlayStation or PC. You can go ahead and hit a whatever count as your start button on your controller and head on over to log and from here you can find hunting log listed here. And if you are playing with mouse and keyboard, you can go ahead and bring up the menu by hitting H on your keyboard to get you to the hunting logs as well. And once you have your menu up, there are a few things to keep track of here. Of course, over here on the left side, we do have each of our classes. Uh, these are, of course, the bait classes. So this is very much useful for brand new players hopping in here. Or maybe you just want to get some of this stuff as well and you find playing as some of the bait classes. You also have your order. So that will be, of course, ones that will be uh, tied uh, to whatever nation you end up picking once you get to that point in the main story. And then on the left side, we also have a couple wink. We have five wink total, which we're going to go more into this in a second. But with that, over at the top right, we can go ahead and see what class uh, we are playing as. We have our board here of how many of the quests uh, have been, uh, or I should say, mottled that have been slain. So you can see here, uh, there is 40 mottled in wink one. We have, of course, our rewards for what we will get once this is completed. As well as an option to of course, show complete, incomplete, uh, and show all. Uh, so from here, we can go ahead and start growing. And you will see a, a list of monsters with how many monsters need to be defeated. And of course, we also have how much money you will get rewarded for this. Then for each of these complete, you will get the amount that is tied to them. And in a moment, we will cover how exactly you can find each of these monsters easily. But for the time being, let's continue on about the wank itself. So the wank is once again broken up into five teals. Each of these teals will require you to do X amount of affiliates and leveling. So for teal one or wank one, it will automatically be unlocked. Teal two will require you to not only complete a uh, wank one, but also be level 10. And so on with three being level 20, four being 30, and five being 40. So this is, of course, as you can see, it meant for you to do from 1 to 40 as you are starting your character off here. And of course, uh, once you actually complete all of these, not only will you get the rewards up here uh, for completing each one of these wings, there is achievements that can actually get you uh, some wings as well as some exclusive minions as well, which we will cover minions in another video. But for all you who want to collect them, this is also a way to get your hands on some of these as well. So when it comes to actually finding a well each of the monsters or enemies are, you can go ahead and of course if you use an amount, just hover over the one that is not complete and it will go ahead and tell you what zone they are. If you are playing on a court controller, you can go ahead, click on your wank and do the same thing here, just hover over. And we'll go ahead and let you know what each of the enemies are. Just know of when this actually give you the location. It don't specifically tell you where they are. It tells you what zone they are in. Uh, so I will go ahead and have a link to a wiki page below. That will bluntly give you the location. If you do not feel like running around trying to find them within the zone itself. But when it comes to recognizing them. And knowing what one you need to actually destroy. Also a little side note. Don't worry about why I don't have pants on. It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. Because how you tell what enemy uh, that you can go ahead and uh, take out for the uh, hunting law. 
in the cult, they will have the little circle symbols above their head, showing you which enemy it is. And of course, once you go ahead and take them out, you can go ahead and see exactly how many you actually need to kill. And once you kill it, you can go ahead, whichever side we own, you will see in your chat box saying the name of the enemy, how many you kill out of how many it left for you to hunt. Uh, so this is how you locate and figure out which enemy you need to go ahead and take out. And once you take out the last of an enemy, you will go ahead and get a, a wink unlock. Also, you will go ahead and get a little pop-up uh, telling you your rewards for hunting that enemy and all the items that come with it. I ended up gaining 2,500 affiliate a joke for destroying a four of the little crab vital creatures. And then one last little thing about the hunting log kill since we did mention earlier about the grand company or whatever country you decide with having a hunting log as well. The thing about this is of course this instead of giving you a billion and currency and items uh, that will go ahead and give you company seals for whatever company you end up going with of the nations. Uh, so if you are looking uh, for some seals to uh, pick up some item uh, from your grand company, this is also a very a good way to get your hands on them. And of course, same rules apply to hunt each of the enemies. And each of the enemies will tell you exactly how many uh, seals they will go ahead and give to you. But with that, that is everything you need to know about the hunting logs inside of Final Fantasy XIV. Any, if you are a brand new player or if you're someone looking for achievement or completionist, uh, this is a nice little distraction uh, to take part in. And if you are a new character or a new player from level 1 to 40, this is a fantastic way to not only get your bearings of the map in around Reborn, but also a very good way to help you level up any factor within FF14. And of course with that, I'm going to go ahead and do it for me for today. If you have found this video helpful, make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, hit all uh, the bells up below. Because I am going to be posting so many helpful uh, guides and how-to videos uh, for new players, returning players, and old players over the next few weeks. To get everyone caught up and ready for the release of Final Fantasy XIV over on the Xbox. And with that, that's going to do it for me. And like always, I will go ahead and see you in the comments.